Those in favour of draft resolution A slash 71 slash L73, please signify. Those against and abstentions. As you can see, the result of the vote is as follows. Those in favour, 94. Those against, 15. Abstentions, 65. Draft resolution A slash 71 slash L73 is adopted. The action initiated by the African states in collaboration with the government of Mauritius at the level of the United Nations is in pursuit of the effort of all African states, including Mauritius, to complete the decolonization of Africa and to ally, allow sorry, a state member of both the African Union and the United Nations to exercise its full sovereignty over the Chagos Archipelago in accordance with international law and the right of self-determination. A yes vote will be a vote in favor of the principles of the UN Charter that continue to guide the organization effort in the principle of self-determination. The UN cannot continue to ignore Mauritius' cry for justice. More than 30 years after the accession of the Chagos Archipelago, shocking truth about the circumstances of the dismemberment of the territory of Mauritius came to light. For so many years, the United Nations and the world indeed were unaware of such facts. The draft resolution is not a belated wake-up call from Mauritius, as suggested by some. It addresses colonialism and decolonization, a matter of interest to all members of the organization as a whole. Three rounds of talks have been held between Mauritius and the United Kingdom. However, these talks became pointless as the United Kingdom was unwilling to discuss a date certain for the completion of the decolonization of Mauritius. It was unwilling even to talk about decolonization. Mauritius is also very much concerned about security in the world, and that is why we have repeatedly said that we do not have any problem with the military base, but that our decolonization process should be completed. We want to assure the United Kingdom and the United States of America that they exercise of effective control by Mauritius over the Sagos archipelago would not in any way pose any threat to the military base. Mauritius is committed to the continued operation of the base in Diego Garcia under a long-term framework which Mauritius stands ready to enter into with the concerned parties. Despite the terms of the draft resolution, this is not a matter of decolonization. Mauritius became independent in 1968 through mutual agreement between the Council of Ministers of Mauritius and the UK government. In separate talks with the Council of Ministers, Mauritius had earlier accepted the detachment of the Chagos Archipelago, an agreement that Mauritius continued to respect until the 1980s. Just think, how many other bilateral disputes left over from history could be brought before the General Assembly in this way. The present draft resolution could set a precedent that many of you in this hall could come to regret. The General Assembly's power to request advisory opinions is an important one. It allows the General Assembly to seek assistance from the ICJ in carrying out its functions under the UN Charter. However, we must be cautious not to allow this important power to be misused for political gain of individual states. While Mauritius is attempting to frame this as an issue of decolonization relevant to the international community, at its heart it is a bilateral territorial dispute and the UK has not consented 
to the jurisdiction of the ICJ. It is a matter of principle for India to uphold the process of decolonization and respect for sovereignty of nations. As part of our long-standing support to all peoples striving for decolonization, we have also consistently supported Mauritius, a fellow developing country from Africa, with whom we have age-old people-to-people people bonds in their quest for the restoration of their sovereignty over the Chagos Archipelago. Mr. President, continuing with our consistent approach on this important issue of decolonization, India supports the draft resolution.